role-playing games have a long and fascinating history. From its humble tabletop origins, the RPG has grown and evolved over the years into the most dominant and ambitious game genre, boasting a catalog as critically acclaimed as it is diverse. But with thousands of RPGs in the wild, it's sometimes hard to pinpoint the real treasures. So IGN got its biggest RPG fans in a room to find out which of them are just okay and which stand out as full-fledged masterpieces. These are IGN's Top 10 RPGs of all time. I had a nightmare. About? It'll take forever to explain. You can spend hundreds of hours exploring The Witcher 3's expansive continent and surrounding isles and still not have seen a fraction of what this world has to offer. The saga of Geralt comes to a supremely satisfying conclusion in what's absolutely the best game in CD Projekt Red's acclaimed RPG series. What begins as a quest to find your lost love becomes an engrossing tale full of unforgettable characters, terrifying enemies, and genuine heart. Even the smallest side quests are thoughtful affairs, and many of the main story arcs feature some of the most poignant narrative beats we've encountered in any game. Couple its stellar storytelling with deep character customization and a challenging and rewarding combat system, and it's easy to see why IGN gave The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt our Game of the Year award for 2015. For all intents and purposes, Vagrant Story should not have been a PlayStation game. The sheer volume of systems interacting with each other and top-notch graphics should have crippled Sony's little system. But somehow, we got to experience Yasumi Matsuno's dungeon-crawling masterpiece mere months before the PS2's US launch. The themes of civil war, religious zealots, and ghoulish cult leaders were heavy stuff for the time, but it's handled masterfully through beautiful art direction and some extremely impressive localization. You can also craft gear, chain abilities in combat, target specific body parts on enemies, and take on some of the toughest foes Square Enix ever created. Vagrant Story is the definition of a cult classic. From its dark, moody music and visual trappings to its lengthy and lofty story, Blizzard's return to its fast-paced action RPG series is a masterclass in atmospheric adventure. Made both accessible and engaging by its unique classes and skills, the endless satisfaction of its kills and loot gameplay, and its nearly limitless equipment variety and character customization. Diablo 2's cooperative play and item trading help to successfully foster a bustling online community, while its freeform progression and replayable content amounted to one of the greatest role-playing experiences of all time. During the 1990s, developer Squaresoft was the undisputed king of JRPGs, and the secret of mana was one of the most dazzling jewels on its crown. Even now, we still remember the action RPG fondly. Its bright, candy-colored world was a joy to explore. The action-based combat was easy to learn and fun to do, and its inventory ringlets made navigating menus refreshingly simple. Then there was the breathtaking soundtrack, celebrated for its mix of cheerful tunes and haunting melodies. But the most memorable feature was the multiplayer. Secret of Mana would let up to three players participate in combat, so long as they had an extra controller or two lying around and the correct peripheral accessory for the SNES. In short, Secret of Mana was, and still is, a magical RPG. The creators of Planescape Torment aimed to subvert RPG cliches from the start, and the result is what several critics have called one of the best written and most imaginative video games ever created. So much of Planescape Torment is driven by sharp and engaging dialogue instead of combat. It takes the static alignment systems of Dungeons and Dragons and flips it on its head, daring to ask bigger questions about the nature of right and wrong, and making every single decision one to remember. Planescape Torment's experimental approach to RPG norms, twisted sense of humor, strikingly dark but fresh setting, and tendency to elevate even the most minor conversations with weighty philosophical questions, combine to create a unique personality unsurpassed in the last two decades. 
even if World of Warcraft never evolved past its vanilla state, it would still be remembered fondly as an incredible RPG filled with epic dungeons, supremely compelling player versus player encounters, satisfying non-combat crafting and social gameplay, and more well-written, handcrafted quests and adventures than it felt possible for a single RPG to contain. But what elevates World of Warcraft above great and into greatest of all time discussions is the care and attention Blizzard has poured into the game in the 13 years since. WoW has never stood still. Completely new worlds, revamped old worlds, balanced and well-integrated new classes, risky storytelling, and an almost impossible to count volume of quality of life improvements have made an already great game experience even more amazing more than a decade later. Pokemon Yellow culminates the fantastic RPG system from Pokemon Red and Blue and mashes them into context with story beats from the great Pokemon anime. Perhaps one of Pokemon Yellow's best improvements is also its most notable, Pikachu. Pizza. Having the series' iconic companion follow us on our journey helped further transform the monsters from simply being a team of fighters to a team of our best friends. Pokemon Yellow's updated sprites, moves, and a slew of other narrative changes further cemented as the best way to experience the most influential Pokemon game. Following on the success of Baldur's Gate in 1998, Bioware surpassed gamers' expectations with the sequel, Baldur's Gate 2. In addition to the robust implementation of the current D&D rules, Baldur's Gate 2 included massive environments, thrilling turn-based tactical combat, and enough side quests to fill any fantasy lover's bookshelf. But the real stars of the game were the characters and the story, from the terrifying and complicated villain to the lovable and lovably hilarious Minsk. Baldur's Gate 2 was a fantasy epic as big and wonderful as the genre could hold. Compared to its cheerfully optimistic brethren, Final Fantasy VI is a refreshing breath of bleak air. It dares to answer the question, what if the bad guy wins, by actually letting the bad guy win halfway through the story. It isn't shy about tackling uncomfortable subjects like war, genocide, forbidden love, and suicide. It eschews the myopic viewpoint of a single designated protagonist in order to tell a larger, more emotionally charged tale. Its willingness to explore heavy themes and unthinkable outcomes is one of the biggest reasons why Squaresoft's 1994 magnum opus is so very special. Its unconventional gameplay is another reason entirely. Final Fantasy VI casts off the rigid class systems of previous Final Fantasies and allows any one of the 14 heroes to use magic, so long as they equip magical shards. Its mini tower defense games break up the monotony of random battles, while each character's unique combat abilities means everyone serves a purpose. Nothing feels redundant or wasted in Final Fantasy VI. It's truly like no other RPG. Creating a top 10 RPG list was quite a challenge, but placing Chrono Trigger at the very top was surprisingly easy. 20 plus years after Square Enix's epic released on the SNES, and we're still gobsmacked by its originality and ingenuity. The seamless transition between the world map full of visible, avoidable enemies and combat was a revelation in a time where most RPGs feature jarring random battles, and even today makes monster encounters a joy instead of a chore. The plucky courage and determination of its adolescent heroes makes for instantly memorable characters. Its brilliant introduction of time travel as both a storytelling vessel and gameplay mechanic is proof that solid story and riveting gameplay don't have to be mutually exclusive. Couple all this with multiple endings and one of the greatest game soundtracks ever made, and it's easy to see why Chrono Trigger is our top-ranking RPG of all time. There you have it, those were our absolute favorite RPGs of all time. Did yours make the list? Let us know in the comments. And for more Top 10s, make sure to check out the Top 10 FPS games of all time and the Top 10 Worst Weapons in Gaming. For all things video games, keep it right here on IGN.